Perfect. All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, Jet Ski John 2006 gave me a great idea. He said I should do a roundup of all the things that I found at the honey hole thus far. It's a great idea. It's taking a little time to put it all back together again, to get it all together separate what I did and didn't find from the honey hole out of my treasure chests, but I believe I've gotten it all. Now I'm certain there's a few things I'm missing and a few things I've thrown away or given away, but uh, it's pretty much all here and it is quite the hoard, I must say. The honey hole has been very, very gracious, very generous to me. It is my little treasure trove. I go to it most every evening, and, well, every evening I can when it's not rainy or I'm not too, too sore from the night before, uh, and I... Uh, sift through it and see what it has to offer and it has given me some beautiful gems so let me readjust the camera we'll get it all set up and I'll show you what I found one second hot rocks they're a pain in the butt we all get them but they're hot rocks then there's other utensils like I'm sure this thing here is a farming utensil of some sort the big spike sticking through it what it's for, I don't know. Maybe Bob's digging it will know what it's for. If you know what that is, Bob, give me a holler. Tons of square nails. Round nails, rose head nails, spikes, tent pegs. That's what I believe this thing to be. Is a tent peg. This is a tent peg of some sort. And this, this is the best square nail I have. Look at that. My square nail cross. This thing's got so much history and just, oh, it screams, screams historic value. You know what I mean? It just it's if this thing could tell a story, I'd love to hear it. My square nail cross. Found that with my daughter Lily. Now I've got my buckles. I've got what's its I've got measuring tapes from day one I think. This is the first measuring tape ever invented. Look at that poor bugger. One day I'll get around to cleaning it up and seeing what it has to say on there. I got fishing lures, I got chokers, I got keys. Check out that square nail. I think that's a horseshoe nail. Remember the jacks? Remember we used to play jacks? I remember jacks. Some buckles, spikes, more square nails. This thing I have no idea what it is. It looks like some sort of a chisel head or something or other. It's been there a couple days, that's for sure. I don't know what that is. I got my bottle opener. Again, this thing here, I don't know what it is, but it's got some sort of... It's like teeth on the end. Do you see that? Like fingers or serrations? Don't know what it is or what it would be used for. But came out of the honey hole. Bottle openers. Cap guns. Rustler Texan. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's from, but that's a cool little cap gun. I'm assuming it's a cap gun. We got some harmonica reeds. I don't think they ever made it onto video. Uh, a wooden handled nail, uh, jackknife. The end of a horseshoe. Busted off old horseshoe. Looks like it's been cut, does it not? Look at that. It's been sheared some some way. Another little buckle, a piece of a buckle. What's left of a buckle. We got a very old Crest toothpaste tube. When before it was Crest, it was Ribbons Dental Cream. See what it says? Crest. Does it say Crest? Yeah, Colgate, sorry. Not Crest. Colgate. Colgate toothpaste. Nothing in great shape. I got two of them. Another can bottle opener. I got the world's smallest crescent wrench. Look at how old that thing is. Completely corroded. Part of it's even missing from the corrosion. Just little chunks of it missing out of it. So I got some cool buttons. This one has writing on the back. I don't know what it is. Very cool though. I'm assuming it's a button. I got my province of Ontario button. This thing is awesome. That's got to be just some sort of military uniform or something or other. I'm not sure. But I love it. I only put two bottle caps out, but I probably took 10 million out of there. Well, five million of these. Shotgun shells. Look at this one. Dominion of Canada. Maxon. Made in Canada. That is an old shotgun shell. 12 gauge. Got a little 12 off of the crimped area here. 
microscopic 22 shells. That is the smallest 22 casing I've ever seen. Smallest one I ever saw. This is awesome. I don't know. Maybe you guys can see it as well as I do. You can see the top here, right? Now look here. This is molten metal, steel, slag, call it what you will. But if you look down here, let me get into the light more. Oh. If you look here, you'll see a wood grain. That is where it was attached to the floor. Look at this. This down here is floorboard. You can see the wood grain to it. Up here is some manner of molten metal that had been dropped onto it. That is a chip of a floorboard and the molten metal that had landed on top of it. But listen, it's all turned to stone, hard as rock, even the wood. All rock. That thing is cool as hell. See the wood grain from the floorboard? That's very cool. I don't know. Really, I don't know. A couple of marbles. Marbles. And as I said, there's things on here I have uh, haven't put in the video. Like, I don't think I put these on the video when I found that. That was my first ever harmonica read, and my only. I'm assuming it's one harmonica, the upper and lower plate. These are pieces that are broken off when I was cleaning it. Now, let's get on to the coinage.